Hello, Dookies! Andy Loopy here, back with a nice little tutorial for you streamers out there. This one is going to be posting to social media. So, here's a basic example of a clip that's no, going to be posted to no, social media. No, 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 no! no. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you how to create that just from any clip using just a website. You don't need to know anything about any software or anything like that. No, none of the Da Vinci stuff. Nothing. You don't need to know anything, okay? The website does it all for you. You're going to be able to select what footage you want to use, what if you want your webcam on there, and it will format it ready to post to TikTok, Instagram, any social media. You guys know what that is, all right? So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Put your rock of the stone. Much love. Let's go. Bang it. Right, so as I said, you're not going to need any software for this. We're just going to be using a straight website that is available for literally anybody. So first things first, you need to pick out a clip that you want to use. So I'm going to be using one from Waldo because I don't really play too many games on my stream because I do a lot of training and teaching people stuff. So if, if you want to learn some stuff or anything like that, then come and visit. Feel free to. So this is Waldo's clip. I've chosen a nice quick one so the no, video is not too no, long for you guys. No, no, no. no. <laughs> As you've just seen it there, so I'm going to use this clip. We just need to copy the clip URL right at the top. So we're going to right click, press copy, or control C. You guys know the drill on this sort of stuff. If you are using somebody else's clips, then please ask for permission before you do it because, you know, you don't want to get told off, do you? Or just use your own clips, you know what I mean? Be entertaining. I don't know. I'm not entertaining, so I'm using somebody else's. So we're going to go to streamladder.com. All the links are in the description, so don't worry about anything like that. And it, this is so easy. I love how simple it is. All I need to do is paste the URL directly into there. Or I can actually use a local file as well. So if you're saving clips onto your hard drive or anything like that, you can use them files as well. So you don't need to worry about like, oh, I need to upload it somewhere to pull it back again. You can just upload it directly directly to this website. So we're gonna press get clip. And this is gonna search Twitch for that clip. And it's gonna check, is this the correct one? So we're gonna press play. We can see it's six seconds. Yep, that is the one. We're gonna use that clip to create. So all we need to do, uh, if you can see, there's nothing to really click on on this website apart from join their Discord. Do it, do it, do it. Um, and we just press continue. And it's gonna give us two options here. So select a template for your TikTok video. Currently there are two our options, full screen and split. So full screen is crop your Twitch clip to portrait mode. So that makes it all portrait ready to go onto social media. Uh, ideal for when you uh, don't have a face cam or if you don't need the webcam on that clip. Or we've got the split one as well where you can see the camera at the top just here. You will probably have seen that on TikTok quite a lot. Uh, and this is how they do that without any fancy editing skills. So stack your face cam and game feed on top of each other so your reaction is in the video. So I'm going to show you how to do that one first. Um, I mean, full screen is pretty much the same thing, but without the webcam. So I'm going to use split. So we need to choose where our face cam is first. So it could be anywhere, even if you're using a 4x3 webcam, for instance, like here. We can select the 4x3 version as well, and we can move that around. And that's probably going to fit Waldo in better than a widescreen one so this is one that we're going to use here and i'm just going to crop it i could zoom in so there's not even any game in the background as well it's up to you what you want to do here and how much you want to go into it but it's uh, i'm just going to probably leave it at that so he's nice and big and you can see his reaction press accept and now it's going to ask us where we want our game feed so we can move this around the screen so if there's something happening um somewhere else on the screen or anything like that there's no like motion zooms or anything like that it's just a static position obviously if you want to get more in depth with stuff like that and add motion and stuff into your videos then you will need to use video editing software but this is nice to just get the clips look we can resize it and we can have it right in the middle if we wanted to like that i want to leave it quite large for this example, so I'm going to leave it about that and then put that more central like so and press accept once I'm happy with that. It's going to give us a preview of what this looks like now. So as you can see, that looks, I'm pretty happy with that. I could go back if I wanted to, press redo, but I'm just going to press finish and it's going to start transcoding. So this isn't going to use any of your computing power or anything like that. It's all done via the internet. Obviously, if you're using something like DaVinci or something like that, you probably will transcode it quicker depending on your hardware, but at least this is available for anyone at any time. Uh, I do need to test it on mobile, so we'll test that towards the end of the stream, see if we can do it. And uh, once that's all done, it'll do 99%, all that jazz, and we can preview it. This is the result of the clip. No, 
So we can preview it with the sound on. We're definitely happy with that. That's great. <laughs> so we can press pause and we can just press download. As you can see just here, it's going to download it into our downloads folder. And now we've got an MP4 file that's nice and small. And it's ready to go to post on any social media. So after taking a little look on mobile on streamladder.com, it is actually not available right now, but it will be available. Look, mobile support coming soon. That's really exciting. And make sure you press that join the Discord button so you don't miss any future updates from them. Because that is going to be kind of groundbreaking it just means that if you're ever on the go or on the toilet do you know what i mean and you're wanting to just upload a couple of clips to multiple social media platforms because that is the best way to grow okay so if you if you want to kind of grow your twitch channel you want to be posting content everywhere you've heard that a million times and with this tool it makes it a ton easier another thing to think about is try using youtube shorts they honestly some of the the views that waldo's got on recent ones that he submitted bearing in mind he's not been submitting anything to youtube they've been getting some much larger numbers um, a couple of thousand so definitely think about that it's it, yes it's another step but if you're quite clever and use something like if this then that then you will be able to uh, kind of link multiple social medias together and post at the same time everywhere so if you want to see a video on that, please let me know in the comments section below as well. Uh, it's something that I don't really play around with myself. I really should do more social media because it would help me uh, kind of get all these crazy ideas out to you guys. Because a lot of this stuff that we cover on the channel, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you are. We, we have loads of crazy stuff that's on stream up and different things like that that people don't even know exists and using social media is great for that okay so that's pretty much everything on this video i know it's probably been a little bit of a, a dry one or something like that i don't really like doing these kinds of videos uh too much i like getting nitty gritty with uh, the orange board bq bar obs all that sort of stuff but streaming tools definitely are a big thing so yeah let me know if you want to see more videos like this one. Bear in mind, I don't really like doing them, okay? Just bear that, man. Um, but yeah, I will see you in the next one. All right, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, all that jazz, and check out Stream Up. Put your rock over the stone. I'll see you in the next one. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full-time, make it free for you guys, and also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.